So tribe, you are in for a treat. Today we are going to make alkaline electric upfall chipotle bowl. And our ingredients are one pack of sun-dried tomatoes, which I got from Lucky's. Most of what I got here is from Lucky's. I have some walnuts here, crystal geyser, which you can get from the dollar store. It is a neutral 7.0 pH water. Then we have some seasonings. We have cayenne and then we have oregano leaves. We have our sea salt, bay leaves, organic quinoa, and then our oil that we're going to use is grapeseed oil. We have agave here. We have mushrooms, peppers, red onions, tomatoes, scallions, key limes, and avocado. And the mushrooms that I use is portobello mushrooms. And that's going to be our meat. So let's get it. We use a pressure cooker because it's a lot faster and it does what we need to do without us paying much attention to it. So my mom used one teaspoon of grapeseed oil with chopped onions and we're just going to saute that up. And we used this grapeseed oil. Saute it up, saute it up, saute it up. It smells so good. I don't know about you, but I love the smell of sauteed onions. So you're going to saute the onions for two to three minutes. Not very long, just a little bit. Get it all caramelized and good for when we put the chickpeas in there. And we set the pressure cooker on saute and it automatically does that for us. It doesn't cook it, it just sautés the onions for us. We already made a batch of the chickpeas so we just put in the chickpeas that we had frozen up in there and then we're going to caramelize that and mix it and blend it all with the onions and then we added three sun-dried tomatoes and be sure to allow your sun-dried tomatoes to soak in water a bit just to get a bit more soft and it's not going to be too hard or too difficult for it to mash up or blend with the other ingredients that you use it with. So we use spring water, not sure of how much exactly we use, but just enough to go right above the chickpeas. You don't want too much water. So we close, lock it up, take it off saute and then cook it for 30 minutes. See, I love using the pressure cooker. It does what you need to do without you having to worry about it. That's one thing that you can just have sitting there cooking as next thing you know, you turn around and it's done. So now we're using butternut squash. We're using butternut squash to add a nice sweet flavor into it. So we chop up some butternut squash, add one teaspoon of a drizzled agave on top of the butternut squash and we put it on a parchment paper on top of a glass dish to put into the oven. So then with the sea salt, you want to just use about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sea salt and sprinkle that on top of the butternut squash. And then mix it around just to make sure all sides of it has gotten the agave. You'll set it to 350 and put it in there for about 20 minutes 20 25 minutes so now we're getting to the quinoa we're going to add a tablespoon of the grapeseed oil so you're going to use a one cup of quinoa And the reason why we're doing this is to get out that nutty flavor, that nutty flavor that Chipotle has, um, rice flavor, that fried rice flavor, that's how we're gonna do this. So we're going to put the grapeseed oil in the pot on medium high with a cup of quinoa, mix it around just a bit so all sides have a little bit of oil on it. And then we're just gonna fry it up. We're going to add two bay leaves and then one squeezed key lime. 
so that's one half and then we're going to use the second half and squeeze that in there as it's frying mix it up again and now you're going to have this frying with the oil for about two minutes not very long at all so once that's finished you're going to add spring water to the quinoa now we're going to cook it so for every cup of quinoa you want to add two to two and a half cups of water Yes, bubble, 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 bubble. Ah, I was so excited at this point. Now you're going to cover it, put it on medium low while it's cooking, and then just set that to the side. Now we're going to saute our onions. So we'll use a tablespoon of grapeseed oil, a teaspoon of oregano, put that right into the oil. You haven't met yourself yet. Then we're going to add our sliced peppers and in the beginning I didn't show the peppers there we already had that cut up I didn't show the chickpeas either because it was already done but the peppers we're just going to slice that up put that into the oil saute it see we have our chickpeas doing its thing and now we're going to use some cayenne as much cayenne as you'd like as much spice as you'd like there isn't a particular amount that you can use. I love cayenne, so I like putting a lot. <laughs> We're going to add another squeezed key lime. With the peppers as they're sauteing. Mix and blend that up, and then that's finished as our topping. So we're gonna put that to the side. Now to get started on our meat. We used a half a cup of walnuts, one sliced portobello mushroom, a half of a red onion sliced, and then three sun-dried tomatoes. Put that in the chopper. And then press pulse and just have that pulse or chop until it is chopped down to a nice consistency kind of like how ground meat looks um, so just keep doing that now back to the quinoa we're going to add our scallions our green onions and once we add that we're just going to mix and blend it in a bit as we're blending it in those two bay leaves that are in there we're going to take them out because we shouldn't eat those there's no reason for that to be in it it's did its thing it flavored up the quinoa so we're just going to take it out now to cook our meat we're going to add a teaspoon of grapeseed oil get our meat and throw it in the pot and then just have that cook for about 10 minutes. The seasonings that we'll add is one teaspoon of oregano. You can add as much as you'd like, whatever you like it to taste. But we used one teaspoon. And now we're going to add cayenne. And we're using just a teaspoon, oh, a half a teaspoon of the cayenne. My mother does not like spicy things. <laughs> and then we'll add a half a key lime juice again. Have that cook in the pot. Mmm, it smells so good already. Now to make our tomato sauce for the meat, we're going to add one Roma tomato sliced, two sun-dried tomatoes, one teaspoon of agave, and one teaspoon of sea salt. We'll put that in a blender, bullet, whatever it is that you have, and just blend that up until it's nice and smooth as a sauce consistency. and then we will add it to our meat. Now this meat is still on the stove, it is on low. While the meat was cooking, we were making the sauce. 
Our quinoa is looking good, smelling good. And our meat is smelling so good too. Now to make our pico de gallo. Oh, the best part. So we'll add two sliced Roma tomatoes, a half of a red onion, and some chopped green onions. For seasonings, we're adding the oregano and then one key lime squeezed. And about a teaspoon of sea salt. And once you have all that in there, you're going to pulse until it gets down to a salsa consistency. Now this is the finished product, guys. I am so excited. This smells so good. It is ridiculous. Chipotle got nothing on us. <laughs> now we have our chickpeas here, which are the beans for the whole chipotle bowl. Then we have our meat, which is the walnut and mushroom meat. As you can see, it looks just like meat and it smells and tastes so good. We have our pico de gallo, chopped dandelion leaves. You can use romaine as well, but I didn't have any romaine, so I used dandelion, which is just as good. We have our guacamole. Guacamole, guac, guacamole. <laughs> Do you know that song? We have our sauteed peppers and then the butternut squash, which we put in the oven and caramelize. So I know you all are going to love this. Share, like, subscribe, spread the love to your family and friends and show them that you can have an upful, alkaline, flavorful dish without going out to eat. You don't need Chipotle. <laughs> love you all. Peace.